What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs here on Aviator Games and you guys, today's episode is going to focus here on me and Megan trying to improve our relationship, make a little bit of money for the household so we can get some household upgrades so we can better take on more pets because as you know right now we only have one pet and her name is Luna and she's a little, oh, did she, Luna, did you just, Luna, did you just pee on the porch again? You're old enough to get out the stairs, why are you peeing on the porch? How do I train her not to pee on the porch? That's what I want to know. How do I train my dog not to be on the porch? Well, I'm mopping it up. But yes, we want to focus on making a little bit of money for our household. As you can see, only $800 in the bank account. That's not a lot of money. So today we're going to improve me and Megan's relationship. Maybe go towards becoming engaged or at least get 100 out of friendship and 100 out of romance. And then think about engagement. And then have Megan try to perfect her painting skill, earn a little bit of money. And then we're going to go to the veterinarian clinic and try to improve towards a four-star vet. And if we get enough money, we might adopt another pet either in this episode or on Tuesday's episode. But welcome, welcome to the new episode. If you guys are new to this channel, let me fill you in on something. For the first 10 episodes of this series, I'm giving away a copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Yes, that's 10 copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs being given away to you guys. Now, last episode, we did another giveaway. I asked you guys, what's your favorite dog breed? And the winner of yesterday's contest was... Ba-ding! Oh, wait, the about ding <laughs> Flame and Diamond. My favorite dog breed are Bernice Mountain Dogs. I actually heard of those dogs. My dad really likes those dogs. So Flame and Diamond, if that is you, after this live stream goes up as a video, come back to the video and comment, I won! Now, don't everyone do that because there's only one Flame and Diamond, and I'm going to know if you're Flame and Diamond. Comment, I won, and then I will contact you, and we will get you your prize now, the last winner, guys, did not pick up their prize. They did not claim it, so we're actually giving away two today, and if you want a chance to win the second one, well, first, if you want a chance to win a copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, all you have to do is like this video right now, leave a comment down below, hmm, uh, telling me the funniest thing you've ever seen a cat do. Tell me the funniest thing you've ever seen a cat do in the comments. Like this video and you're entered for a chance to win a copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Now, since one person didn't claim their giveaway last time, I'm giving away another one on my Discord server. I just started a public fan Discord where you guys can chat with me with voice. You can chat with me with text. You can ask me questions. You can submit me fan art. You can get to know other simmers. If you want to enter for a chance to win a copy today of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs and not wait until Tuesday, just join my public Discord. The link is in the description and it is in the chat right now. Now, go down there, join it, because after this stream, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A on my Discord with voice where you can talk to me and we can ask, ask and answer some questions. So join my Discord. The link is down below or in the chat right now. And then we're going to be giving away a copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs there today. And if you want a chance to win on YouTube, if you don't have Discord, just like this video. Leave a comment down below of your favorite funny moment you've had with a cat or that you've seen maybe on a funny cat video on YouTube. But okay, without further delay, let's get started with this episode. Now... Like I said, I do want to focus... Why am I in my underwear? Why am I always in my underwear? <sighs> let's change. Let's change outfits. Do I have more than... I do have... Okay, let's go a little more dressed up today, okay? Now, we haven't really explored much of Brindleton Bay, Megan and I. So, I think maybe today me and Megan get out we go have some fun we improve our friendship we see what Brindleton Bay has to offer maybe we take Luna to the dog park we do stuff like that and kind of have a family bonding day me and Megan are boyfriend and girlfriend and our dog is now an adult so Luna's got to get out and get some exercise maybe we take her for a walk why are we talking to each other from across the room that's what I'm wondering right now. <laughs> hey, honey, how you doing? Oh, you're good. Are you gonna come closer? No, you're gonna go sit at the kitchen table. Now we're gonna have this awkward conversation with you guys. You're, you having your back turned to me? Okay, well, let's share her a secret. Maybe bring her day. There is the flea market in town today. That's not really worth going to. We don't have a lot of money. Don't want to blow a lot of money on used crappy stuff. So <laughs> we're not going to the flea market. We're just not going. Okay. Okay. So me and Megan have like 100% in the romance level let's become best friends because in real life Megan and I are best friends and we love each other and we're dating it's the perfect combination uh, let's joke about politicians uh, we're just trying to improve that friendship thing right now because we need that 100% friendship and that 100% relationship where is face cam today guys I watched the Packer game it was at noon until 3 and it's 4 o'clock now so I didn't have time to shower or look pretty so <laughs> no face cam today sorry uh, <laughs> Oh, man. Your cat rode a hoverboard? A hoverboard? I, I'm jealous. I wish my cats knew how to ride hoverboards. Okay, so let's give her a kiss. Let's tell her a dramatic story. We're going th for all the things, guys. Then I definitely want to get out on the town. I really do want to get out on the town and see what this town has to offer. I really haven't explored it at all. Me and Megan have become best friends now, though, which is amazing. We're best friends. We're boyfriend and girlfriend. 
Best of both worlds, we're feeling flirty, and we are slowly becoming perfect friends. Let's reveal a deep secret. That will probably really help us and everything we're trying to do. Oh yeah, guys, once we get to a thousand likes too, maybe I'll even give away a third copy of The Sims, Cats and Dogs. Hit that like button, let's find out. <laughs> we'll do some Discord giveaways and we're giving away one on YouTube. Let's hug lovingly, we're trying to improve that parenting skill. For some reason, hugging my girlfriend gives me parenting skill. Oop, Luna's up on the couch. Is this a pet training moment? We can give special smooches. Let her lick. We should play with Luna a little bit. I feel bad. I played with her this morning when we woke up. I wanted to give her some attention. Let's give her special smooches. Let's tell her a story. She is a couch potato. That's her trait. So she does like to lounge around and kind of spend time just laying down and relaxing. Ooh, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's, it's like red alert time now. Gotta go to the bathroom. Let's use that. Then let's go out on the town. So let's play with Luna a little bit. Megan's reading a book. Look at this. This is this picture perfect fam fa fam family. Family. <laughs> oh man. And Geodash is at the stream again. Welcome, Geodash. Thank you so much for showing up. Zach, are you a Packer fan? Yes, I am. It's been kind of a depressing season, but we won today. So yay. Uh, okay. So let's see, Luna. We are done playing with you for now. We gotta go to the bathroom, and we're gonna get ready to go out on the town and see what Brindleton Bay has to offer. And then when we get back tonight, I want Megan to work on some paintings, get her painting skill up a little bit. <sighs> okay, so once we're done peeing, <laughs> let's travel, and we are going to travel with Household. Let's travel with Megan, and not Luna right now. We will take Luna to the dog park maybe in the morning, but right now I just want to travel with Megan and see what's up with uh, that, that that two humans can do in Brindleton Bay, see if there's anything cool, something that we have not noticed. Megan's in the shower right now, so that might be hard. Megan, we'll see you there. Okay, so she's showering. She's doing her makeup. She's getting ready for the big day. So we have a, a lounge. We have a bar. We have a house. <laughs> we have this aisle, once the site of a mysterious shipwreck. Uh, a museum. Um, uh, what is that? That's our vet clinic. That's another vet clinic. We have a dog-friendly park. Uh, what's this? Uh, Sable Square. It's a very cultured place in town. What about this place? Can we travel here? Oh, we can't. So we probably should go to the museum and then walk over here. Let's go to this museum. Because I really want to see what this lighthouse and everything's like. So maybe me and Megan will go get some culture today. See what that's all about. What's at the museum? What's at the lighthouse? Where? What's at that shipwreck site? I think that'll be really fun. So let's head over there. See what this place has to offer for Megan and I. We are in a group here. We're having a bit of a group outing. Well, let's go view this together. This looks like an interesting piece of art. It's a rock with an anchor on it and some chain. Oh, very entertaining. I like this. Oh, look at that. Look at the, Oh, my God. Look at this view. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this view. Look at this view. Where's the shipwreck? Oh, wait. Is the shipwreck over here? Can we go over here and find, like, shipwreck treasures? Oh, travel to the docks? Wait, what's the docks? What is the docks? Hold on now. Can I travel with Megan or am I traveling by myself? Travel to the beach, travel to the docks. Travel to the beach, travel to the docks, travel to the beach. Travel to the beach. Oh my god, I did not know this existed. Is Megan coming with me? Am I leaving Megan behind? Uh, travel to the beach? Sure. <laughs> Where's this taking us? <laughs> I didn't know there was like other forms of transportation. Now, is the beach like in Brindleton Bay? Or is it its own separate city? Uh, okay, we left Megan behind. That's great. <laughs> oh man. It, wait, it's a spire house. Oh, god dang it. Uh, Data Monster 3 thank you for the $2 super chat. Hey, Peter, are you ever going to do more giveaways? Yes, we're giving away 10 copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, guys. So just stay tuned for that. So there's another dock here. So obviously there's some fishing that can be done. Uh, I guess we can go fishing and see if there's anything we catch. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Is this something we can search through? No. Okay. What is this by? Yeah, this is on the map, I'm pretty sure. This is by our house. I think right yeah this is my vet clinic this is our house right here so yeah this is close to our house so we kind of left Megan <laughs> at the museum alone I feel really bad that is not good that's not something we should be doing acquire the fishing scale good that's all I need to do right now need to do Megan's way over there <laughs> oh no sorry Megan <laughs> sorry for leaving you as we try to just calmly fish here have a little bit of fishing and relaxation time I think we caught something but we're having a hard time reeling it in did we lose it? I think we're losing it. We, we, we were supposed to have a day with Megan. A relaxing day with Megan and it has not become that. We should definitely go back. We should go back. <laughs> we should not leave our, our date at the uh, museum alone. That is the wrong thing to do. Let's travel to the lighthouse with... Uh, by herself, I guess. Okay, travel to the lighthouse. Hopefully Megan's still there. Oh, god dang it. Oh, I thought I exited it. I was about to be very mad at myself. Looks like the fish in this area aren't are too crafty for Zach today. Well, that's seems about legit. Okay, let's head back uh, to the lighthouse and hope that Megan's still there. Uh, if she's still there, we can have some fun, hopefully. 
explore the museum and try to find that shipwreck. I'm very curious about the shipwreck, guys. Megan! Okay, she's here. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, so let's go over here uh, and go to uh, actions and add to group. Okay, let's let's add to group. Looks like the fish aren't biting in this area. That's great. Me and Megan are in a group now, though, so let's let's go view some of this art together. Okay, this is the museum. We want to view some of this nautical stuff together and have a bit of a conversation, maybe, as we view some of this work of art, maybe share some photos with her and give her a nice compliment, because she looks gorgeous today. Let's discuss some interest with her, and then maybe continue on to view this. Okay, so charisma skill level three. Good, 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 good. Me and Megan are having a great day at the museum. I ditched her for a little bit. <laughs> Did some fishing. Uh, what's the Discord? So, guys, we are giving away two copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs today. If you want a chance to win, all you have to do is like this video, leave a comment down below about your favorite funny cat moment, and I will choose a winner tomorrow, uh, or on Tuesday for that. And we're doing a giveaway on my private or my public Discord, which I just started today. So if you want to join that, that is linked down below in the description. I am also linking it in the chat. You can join that. And later on after this stream, I'm going to do a QA and a on my Discord. And we're going to be giving away a copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So make sure you like this video and comment down below. And join my Discord. You have two chances to win Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Now definitely join my Discord because I will be giving away more stuff on there over the coming weeks. And we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff on the Discord. It's going to be like a little exclusive exclusive club so you're definitely gonna want to join that but okay so let's see let's continue to this because this is like this is like a, a replica a little scale model of the island we're on right now because there's the museum there's a the lighthouse there is a mystery tomb what is that should we go look at that is that is that outside is that outside is there a mystery tomb here go upstairs we can go in the lighthouse where's that tomb where's the tomb oh 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 oh, oh what is this <gasps> is this a pet cemetery what is this? Uh, this is like a pet cemetery? This is sad. This is real sad. <laughs> okay, well, let's leave that. So that's a pet cemetery. I'm just trying to explore all this. Uh, that's the boat we used to get out of here. I don't know where the shipwreck would have been. Uh, could it have been over here or over on this corner? Let's go upstairs in the lighthouse, okay? Let's try that. Now, can we actually see inside the lighthouse? That's what I'm curious of. I think we can't. I think we'll just see when we're up here. Oh, look at us. <laughs> okay, so we're up on the lighthouse. What is this giving us? It's giving us happiness from the light? Oh, nice. Oh, wait, what's down here? What's down here? Is this shipwreck? That's like driftwood. I see driftwood, guys. There's got to be some secrets over here. I just feel like there's some secrets. Maybe we should go fishing over here. Uh, Go here together. Let's have me and Megan go over here by the rocks together because there's got to be something. There has to be something. Hmm. What's this? Let's go fishing together. Me and Megan. Because this is where the shipwreck probably happened. And maybe we can pull up debris. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, we're fishing into the sand. That's a... Uh, we're sand fishing. It's a, it's a new conflabit contraption. Sand fishing. Have you guys ever sand fish fished before? <laughs> is that a thing? Do people fish in the sand? Or are my sims just, just totally crazy? <gasps> Ooh, she caught a $5 fish in the sand. Oh, and I caught a $5 fish in the sand. Oh, we should start an aquarium. Can I start an aquarium with the fish I catch? I've never really fished before in the sims too much. So this is all new for me. Uh, and I've never fished in the sand before for sure. So this is great. <laughs> uh, you love me. Thank you, Candace. I really appreciate the love. If you guys have any questions for me or any concerns, I am doing a live Q&A on my Discord after this stream. So definitely join that. Link is down below in the description. So I reached fishing level 2. Looks like the fish really aren't biting for Megan. She's getting bored. Maybe we should both head home. We've had a long day out. Now we should spend some time with Luna. Maybe take her to the dog park in the morning before we go to the vet clinic. Because tomorrow morning, we got to go back to work. It's Monday. Today was kind of leisure, a leisure of Sunday to kind of just enjoy the day with my, my girlfriend and have some fun with the dog. Sand fishing. It's the coolest thing uh, since rock hunting. <laughs> rock hunting's pretty cool. You hunt those rocks. and <laughs> They're very, very dangerous. Uh, okay, Megan's got to go potty. Let's have her quickly use that. And then we're going to have her... Uh, let's just... Let's have her come back here and eat this then. Uh, do I have to potty? Uh, no, I just have to eat. So we're going to eat too. Then I want Megan to work on some paintings. And we'll play with Luna a little bit. Uh, we got to feed Luna as well. So we'll have her work on some paintings. Make us a little bit of money. Improve her skill points. Because that is the goal. Because, you know, within the next five episodes, I do want to be married to Megan. And potentially thinking about having kids. Because I want my kids to grow up around our puppies and our kitties and all that kind of stuff. I think that would be fun. So we're going to play with Luna a little bit as we try to eat, and we're going to try to be romantic with Megan. 
We're very distracted right now. We should just be eating. <laughs> we should just be eating. Chat with Megan. Why are you barking, Luna? We gotta lecture her about her barking. And then maybe uh, ask her to go potty. Yeah, don't bark in the house. Now go potty. Okay, so she's gonna go outside and go potty. We're gonna finish eating this as we chat with Megan. Our friendship's at like 100% and so is our romance. So let's have Megan now that she's done with her. Oh, the dog pooped outside Luna. You pooped on the porch. No. Can you get out out there? Yes, you can. What are you doing, Luna? Okay, we'll mop this up and we'll man, throw away the poop. <laughs> this has been a day, guys. This has been a day. Okay, so we're gonna throw out the poop. Let's call, let's fill this bowl and call Luna to the meal. Okay, and then let's clean this up. And then we're gonna play with Luna after she eats a little bit. I don't know what Luna's doing. It looks like she's coming back. Uh, I'm still waiting for Luna to come here, and then I'm gonna relieve myself of my duties. There we go. Now Luna's eating. Oh, Megan, are you done already? That was fast. Did you finish? Is this it? Oh, wow. Okay, let's sell this to the collector. I really wanted to work on a few paintings today because, you know, when we're gone at the vet clinic, she doesn't really get to do much work. So I wanted her to do some tonight. Uh, it's already pretty late, and we got a broken sink here. Let's fix that. Wake up, Zach. You can't go to bed yet. We're going to have you uh, g clean this sink out because we don't want you doing nothing. Take a nice shower and then go to bed. We were outside all day fishing and full of all that sea salt air. Definitely want to make sure we're cleaned up before we head off to bed. To go to the vet clinic in the morning, you have to deal with some crazy cat ladies, I'm sure. So <laughs> we got to be prepared for that. We got to get our eight hours. Um, I'm hoping to be the clinic by nine in the morning. Let's sell this to a collector. Okay, so oh, she's almost leveled up. So let's maybe do a landscape painting. Okay, so she's so close to leveling up. What level is she with painting? Uh, she's a five, so she's almost a six. So her paintings are actually starting to almost become worth some money. Um, can you donate? It's not working. Geodash, I think it's like, um, I don't know if you can be on mobile for it, to be honest. I think you have to be on, uh, on PC version to super chat and stuff. But if you guys want to sponsor, you'll become Lemonheads on my Discord, which is something I don't know if you can only do on PC, but it basically makes you a monthly subscriber, and then I can make you uh, a fan uh, or a Lemonhead on my Discord, which is a special rank. Uh, what time does the stream finish? We are going another 45 minutes, guys. So it's a long one. It's an hour long of Sims fun. Okay, so now Megan is done. Let's have her use this. I want her to take a nice shower beforehand, too, because I know we're going to be gone tomorrow. So she can sleep that off. So let's have her go go to bed. Uh, it looks like Luna might need a bath. So that might be something we have to work on. I definitely want to get um, in our house a room where I can practice my veterinarian skill. So get, like, that machine and practice all of that. I think that would be really awesome. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so there, we're all asleep. Is Luna asleep? No, she's not. She's just standing there kind of bored. I feel bad for her. We were so busy all day. Didn't have a lot of time to like play and mess around and have some fun. Huh, it's disappointing. I feel really bad. <laughs> Can you adopt a cat? I definitely want to adopt a cat and another puppy. That's definitely the goal of the series. We just got to wait till we get a little bit more money. Um, and a little bit more space because I don't want like three animals running around in this tiny little area There's just not a lot of rooms, you know, so today is mail delivery day. That's good Oh, we got $428 with the bills. So as soon as we start making any type of money, we lose it all So it looks like Megan's almost about ready to wake up Let's have her use this and maybe start a painting before we leave so that way I know she's gonna get something done when we're gone today um, I wish you could manage back and forth people like I could bring myself to the vet clinic and start doing veterinary procedures and skip back to Megan and have her do paintings instead of just being gone all day at the vet clinic. But there we go. Looks like we're done eating and let's clean that up. Good, good, good. And now let's head off to work because we've been closed the last day or two days, I think. Uh, so let's head over to work. We're currently we were currently closed. I could open when we're not there. We do have three veterinarians. Um, so I guess I could do that. I just, I'm not very confident in them yet. I want to train them a little bit more. Uh, if you want to know who won the code, I announced it at the beginning of the stream. When this goes up as a video, you'll be able to see that. What is this? What is this? I acquired the gardening skill. Harvest right now. What is this? Normal trash plant? It's a trash plant? Uh, eat trash fruit. Oh, what? No. Oh, what? No. I want to, I want to sell this. It's $10? What's trash fruit? That's weird. <laughs> okay, well, cool. We have trash fruit, guys. Let's sell our pictures of Luna. Boom, done. $34. Okay, so trash fruit has been plucked. I don't know why we have a trash bush. Let's open our business. 1,100 perk, perk points. I didn't even notice this. Uh, lower employee training costs. We're really close to that. Uh, inspirational speech. Unlocks the inspirational speech, social interaction, which can be used to inspire your employees. We already have the additional vets. Uh, reduce pet stress. 
The vet coat unlocks a bonus lab coat for your Sims. Uh, lowers the chance of bad events happening. Lowers employee costs. Okay, we'll wait for that. Okay, so let's see. We're at the vet clinic. We got to change into our... Let's clean out our spoiled food. We don't need to carry spoiled food on us. And then let's change into our vet uniform. We got to be ready to take on the day today, guys. It's going to be a really, really busy day. Uh, we got a lot of advertising going in. $480. 200 Um, Why can't we unlock this? Oh, I need to purchase that to have the premium quality stuff. Okay, 200% right now. That's what we're at on upcharge. So hopefully we have a great day today. Make some decent money. And it looks like Gerard Billings is checked in. Let's greet him warmingly. Uh, so Gerard, you're greeted. I'm not sure what's going on with Ginger, but it's not good. Could you please help? Yes, let's begin examining Ginger. $10 Super Chat from Wesley Dennis. I love your videos, Zach. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you so much, Wesley Dennis. I really appreciate the $10. That is amazing. You are an MVP. Oh, are we examining him? We're examining him over here, I guess. Okay, well, I wanted to examine him in the big thing just in case I wanted to neuter him. But let's examine them really quick. Let's uh, check their skin and fur. I don't see much wrong with them. Are they wet? No, I can't tell. Isaiah, thank you so much for the dollar super chat. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. And it looks like I don't see anything visibly. Golden poop? Hold on now. Let's collect some samples. Is it actually gold or is it just gold colored? <laughs> That's what we need to know before we start digging up poop. Watery eyes. Okay, golden poop and watery eyes. Ooh, I've never seen this diagnostics before. Uh, examine. Uh, let's listen to their heart. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, 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 we got a stressed out dog here. Let's do the pet. Overly moist skin. And rapid heartbeat, but we are going to soothe the pet right now. They got gilded guts disorder. So, gilded guts disorder. What are we going to need for treatment on gilded guts? Essence of placebo treat. <laughs> so, it's not real medicine. It's a placebo. <laughs> okay. So there we go, little boy. How you doing, Ginger? Oh, you're a girl? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ginger. There you go. Uh, let me bill your owner really quick. We are negative $25 because we treated a patient today. But let's see what we're going to make off this treatment. And uh, it looks like Ginger's happy, so everything's good. Adriana, thank you so much for the dollar super chat. I really appreciate you. $250 made. Okay. So it looks like we only have one patient checking in right now. Pet owner, we are going to go talk to him. Let's greet warmingly. Master Mayak the Gamer, thank you for the dollar super chat. You guys are awesome. All these dollars. I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, okay, so are we doing our jobs here? Uh, we need all these vets here. Maxie has been looking a bit sickly lately. Can you examine her? Of course we can examine Maxie. So let's go see what's wrong with Maxie. Uh, wow, Maxie is wearing a shark costume. Loving the shark outfit, Maxie. As you can see, they definitely have a dazed look about them. Their fur's a little dirty, and they have some slobber coming down from their mouth. They're already pretty stressed out, so we're going to soothe them just to start the day right now. we got to soothe them and make sure they're okay. You are really good. Thank you, Stephanie. And Atna, thank you so much for thinking I'm your favorite YouTuber. Face cam is not going to happen today, guys. I'm not pretty enough. <laughs> I watched the Packer game today, and now I, I, I didn't get ready for the stream, so no face cam because I'm ugly. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's examine. Let's uh, do a definite, a definite skin and fur inspection because I can't tell if their fur is dirty or if that's just the color. But something doesn't quite seem right. Plus, they have the day's look and the slobber coming down. I guess nothing really big was wrong with the fur. Maybe we, um, uh, let's, let's examine mouth. We can see that there's some saliva and some fluids coming out of their mouth. We better make sure that that's all natural. So we found out they have uncontrollable drooling and sluggish heartbeat. <gasps> okay, sluggish heartbeat. That's not good. Uh, okay, let's maybe take their temperature. See what's wrong with their head. They definitely have that day's look. Maybe they fell or bumped into something really hard. So we got to make sure they're okay here. So it looks like they have an ear infection. Okay, this isn't looking good. Let's maybe do a eye exam and see if they have a concussion of sorts because they do have that little starry gaze upon them. So we got to make sure that's good. We got to make sure that's good. Okay, oh, okay, so they're stressing out again. Let's calm down the pet a little bit. What's the other one I can do? Give industrial strength relaxation serum shot. Oh, we got to spend a day here just working on our vet skill. That's something we got to definitely do. But guys, if you're just tuning in, I'm giving away two copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs today. If you want a chance to win one of the copies, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment down below telling me your favorite funny cat moment you've ever experienced or you've seen on YouTube. That's all you got to do. Like and leave a comment, and I will pick a winner on Tuesday for that during my Tuesday 
Sunday live stream of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And there's another way to win. You can go down in the description and join my Discord server. It's a public server where I'm going to be doing giveaways, announcements. I'm going to be doing live Q&As. After this video, I'm actually going to be doing a live Q&A on my Discord. So the link is in the chat and it's in the description. If you guys want to join my Discord, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A over there and giving away another copy of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So two chances to win today. You can enter both ways and have double the chances to win. So definitely try that out. And thank you and welcome to the stream. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications too because I upload four Sims videos every single week and they're always live streams. So I think you guys will enjoy it. So they have Extreme Lethargy, which is Squirrel Scratch the Fever. I think I've treated this before. Uh, yeah, it's just a administrator, a shot of feel good serum. Let's do that. So we will make $250 on this transaction, I think. How are all of our other vets doing today? Because, okay, we have Marcus working on a patient. We have um, Superior working on a patient back here. And it looks like we have two more clients in waiting. So let's go greet warmly and then operate in the operating machine now, I think. And we have a third vet on duty, but I have him on cleanup crew. As you can see, he kind of picks up poop and pee and vomit from the vet clinic. So uh, my cat Dino has been doing well, but it's time for his checkup. Oh, it's time for a checkup. Okay, so let's begin to examine Dino. So that's what we're going to do. No, 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 not on here. Let's go examine Dino in here. Okay, so... He's got, oh my god, a laundry list of things. Let's uh, scan. Let's do an internal scan. It's $20. I really want to see what's wrong with Dino here. I want to get to the bottom of it. Oh, we got some fish bones in his uh, stomach and some mice. That's not good. <laughs> okay, normal temperature, healthy cuteness levels, a responsive ears, clean nose, standard smelly breath. He's healthy! So there's no treatments. So, oh my god, this is the first time we had someone come in just for a checkup. So maybe someone will come in to neuter their cat or dog. Let's neuter a dog just to be fun and give it some preventative shots. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're really racking up a bill here. Healthy cat, preventative shots, and neuter, <laughs> neuter the cat. Oh man, I feel bad. But hey, we're a vet. We're trying to make a little bit of money and cure all the animals to make sure they're healthy. <laughs> oh man, love your video. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Max. I really appreciate it. Neuter him. We did, and he looks happy. So let's now talk to the owner and see what kind of bill we get out of this. Usually it's 250 but that was kind of an expensive procedure. So we're going to see what we rack up uh, in bills here and give to our owner, Hugh, here. Sorry, Hugh, this is going to be a little expensive. So I'm hoping it's more than 250 because we spent a good amount of money. It's only 250 Oh, man. <laughs> no. We spent $20 on the exam, $75 on preventatives. That's 95 bucks. Okay, and then we neutered them. That We got kind of messed it there, messed around there. That should have been more money, I would think. Okay, well, that's fine. We got him out, and he's four-star happiness. So let's uh, go to this other client here and greet her warmly. It looks like we're getting a decent flow of clients in today, and we're already a three-star practice. People think we have excellent wait time, and we can grow a little bit more in value of service. Pixel means the world to me, and she has been feeling awful lately. Whatever you can do to help her, would uh, I'd greatly appreciate so basically, this machine makes it really easy to find out what's wrong with the animal, uh, but it doesn't make us as much money. If we use the exam table and we just use some problem solving skills, we can definitely make more money, just a little bit better pro uh, profit margin. So let's go here. Let's calm the pet down, soothe her, because she's already coming in pretty stressed. She's got four ailments with her, and we can clearly tell one of them is some type of drooling and mucusy mouth. Uh, her fur looks fine, but we'll see. Pixel's been in here before. She's a returning patient, so we have to see. Um, hmm. my day, my day's doing, going really well, Wasted, the Packers won, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that, let's, uh, do a, um, let's open her mouth, let's examine her mouth, because I can clearly tell, oh, she just vomited, she just vomited, I can clearly tell something's wrong with her mouth, so let's see what's going on inside there, <laughs> I think we're gonna close out the practice any second now, so let's disallow any new customers, so boom, we're gonna disallow new customers, because I want my employees to get out here at an okay time, so I can send them for more training. I really want to train my employees so they're like the best of the best in the business. Okay, so let's see here. We're almost at a thousand likes too, guys, so if you haven't liked yet, make sure you smash that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, there we go. Pixel's an ugly tuck. She's just a little uh, thick. Okay, so we still don't know what's wrong with her. Uh, examining her mouth didn't work. So let's, did that say listen to her breath? Or listen to her breathing, I think it said. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, listen to her breath. That doesn't make much sense. So, advanced swamp mouth. Okay, it says we have unknown, but we can give her a treatment. I guess we'll give her a biscuit of medicine X. Even though we really don't know what ails her, but it looks like that cured her. And we're a veterinarian level 7. Zach can now craft the poop randomizer treat at the medicine crafting table. You read <laughs> you read that right? Okay, so the poop randomizer. Uh, that's fun. <laughs> I want to see what we can actually craft now. So, we're going to bill her. Let's see what we get. Probably another 250 bucks. 
boom, done, gone. Uh, let's probably try to mop up some of this mess. We're going to help our customers here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't have time to mop. It looks like we have some angry customers. Let's greet Warming Lee. We have quite a few people waiting right now with their pets. Blue has been looking a bit sick lately. Let's see if you can examine her. Okay, let's uh, begin to examine Blue. Uh, let's go here and begin examining Blue. Okay, we're going to get him in here. We're going to try to speed this process up. He's been waiting a while. We want this to be fast. He feels the wait time was pretty good, which is great. Uh, let's uh, go to scans, and let's do an internal scan. We want to make sure everything's great here. We find out he's got stinky fur. Let's do a uh, vascular scan of all of his, like, blood and organs and all that great stuff. And we found out everything. He's got repugnosis. Okay, let's go to the surgeries and give him a tum tum tickle tangle readjustment surgery. So this is pretty expensive for us, but the dog is treated. Everybody's happy. We can check out his his owner. $300, not bad. It looks like most people have been treated. Come on, guys. Come on. We need to get these patients in and out of here a lot quicker. Let's greet warmingly. We have more patients that are looking to be treated. I've never seen Bartholomew A acting like this before. I hoped it would go away, but it's only gotten worse. Please see what you can do. Okay, so we're treating most of our patients. We have another patient waiting to be treated here, but all of our vets are working full time right now. So this is actually becoming kind of a little struggle here. Uh, okay, no, 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 we need to examine you. Uh, let's examine, let's begin the exam. Bartholomew, we can't have you doing this. Bartholomew. <laughs> okay, this is gonna hurt our rating if this guy does not get treated. Oh my god, we have so many things that could be wrong with him. I can definitely tell he's got icy fur. I don't know what else would be wrong with him, but it's a definite case of icy fur. We've seen this before, because his natural color isn't blue. <laughs> We know that much. Uh, so Icy Fur, we knew that one. Let's take his temperature, see if anything else is going on there, and maybe uh, listen to their heartbeat. Okay, let's see what we get there. Low temperature, overly moist skin, and dry eyes. Okay, you don't want moist skin when you got Icy Fur. You're going to freeze solid. And it looks like they got sweet breath. Okay, slurry fur. So let's give the treatment of... Uh, ooh, do we need a surgery? We need a surgery here. We need a surgery. So let's move to the surgery station. Slurry fur needs surgery, so here we go to the surgery station. And it looks like we're going to have to go into a uh, surgery. Surgeries. We're going to give him tum tum tickle tangle adjustment surgery. <laughs> this is a pretty expensive process. Uh oh. Uh, that was a golden cat. I was going to say, that's not the right cat. That's not good. So it looks like Mr. What was his name? Bartholomew. A bit Biddle Bun Jr. Is, is all good to go. So let's go bill his owner. $400. Pretty expensive procedure. Uh, and it looks like all of our patients are ready to be dismissed on the day. Let's go here and let's go to manage Marcus. We're going to praise Marcus. He had a great day's work. Uh, and then I do want to pay for training. Let's give him some brief training. And then let's go to Malcolm. He had a pretty good day. He kept the place relatively clean. Or Randy, his name is, not Malcolm. Uh, and then let's give him paid training uh, as well. And then let's check in on our final employee, Superia, and we'll praise her for all of the work she did today. And also offer some standard training, $600. A bit more expensive, but it'll be good because uh, our, our, our efforts are going to pay off and our employees are going to be more experienced. Okay, so hmm, training after my shift, are you helping me improve or are you trying to tell me I'm not good enough? Okay, so he got a little upset with that, but that's okay. Thank you, Mr. Letter, and he appreciates offsite training. And is she going to appreciate the offsite training? Uh, thanks. Okay, so boom. They all liked it. Let's close the business down for the day. We made $1,700 in profit, profit, and it was a good day, and we paid a lot of training for our employees. So I'm pretty excited, pretty happy. I think we have enough money to get that vacuum cleaner now that cleans up everything. That would be pretty nice. But let's clean up the rest of our vet clinic. Um, maybe we'll take Tuesday off because this was a really long, stressful day. I'm going to probably go use this toilet really quick. And then let's uh, do some lab work. I want to work on our veterinarian skill. Actually, what can we craft? Huh. Surgery station, belly rub, serum, uh, treats. We can craft some new treats. Aged down treats. Ooh, okay, okay. So is that stuff we can sell? I wish we could sell that kind of stuff. Uh, we can craft some uh, industrial strength relaxation serum. That's not a bad craft. But we're going to keep, I think we're going to do a little bit of work. We're going to stay late tonight. A late night at the vet clinic. Now, there is stuff we can put here, like open this. Uh, it's a Vendomatic, so it's a medicine machine. So we could craft a lot of stuff and just toss it in there and see if it sells. That might be something we could do, but actually, maybe we should head home. It's been a long day. I miss Megan and Luna, so let's head home and 
and see what's going on at our house. <laughs> we spent all day at our vet clinic, but our vet clinic's doing really well. Like we are creeping up towards four stars. Everyone had a great experience here. Ooh, actually we should get, um, let's unlock vet supply quality. Boom. That's a really good one. And then let's do lower employee training costs. That's a really good one. And then we're out of points. So look at this though. So next time we open, I can do supply quality premium. So that's, that's more cost to us, but it gives us better supplies and it'll make us a bit more money. And I think it'll make our, our, our uh, customers happy because we already charge a lot for our services. So they'll be like, oh wow, we're getting the best of service. So this is worth it. I think they'll really enjoy it. I, I mean, I hope they'll really enjoy it. But guys, this is a perfect time to mention the two giveaways again. Two copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs are going to be given away here. One, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment down below telling me your funniest cat moment our cat experience the other way to win it is to go join my public discord the link is down below in the description i'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways over there a lot of fun q a's we're going to be doing like little fun merch giveaways all that great stuff so if you want to check that out the link is down below in the description so two chances to win one if you like and comment on this video that winner is announced on tuesday and the discord winner is announced today so it, that's a that's a big chance of winning so definitely go over to that discord i think there's only like 100 people over there right now so you definitely have a bigger chance of winning if you go over to the discord and join that link is down below in the description but okay we are going to sleep it's like one o'clock in the morning it's been a super long day of peanut at the clinic that's why i think today we're going to definitely spend some time with luna and with megan let megan do some paintings and make some other stuff happen master mayak thank you so much for the two dollars big fan thank you for the two dollars super chat i really appreciate that let's have her take a shower she's feeling kind of stressed out because she's oh she's uncomfortable because she's hungry uh okay well let's uh get leftovers then you're making friends on the Discord server? That's awesome. That's what I hope. I hope like everyone can make some friends, have some fun, talk about Sims, talk about school, talk about life. I think that's a good place to do that over there. I'm new to Discord too, so I'm kind of a noob, but I'm really hoping that um, <laughs> we can have some fun over there on the Discord server. Uh, let me see. Let's uh, get some leftovers. It looks like Luna's waking us up a little early. <laughs> that's not how we want to wake up, but uh, let's have her. Let's have Megan get some leftovers as well. She's starving. I'm hungry too, so let me have some leftovers. We're both just starving people right now. And now we can chit chat as we eat. Let's vent. We're a little bit stressed out. We haven't had any fun lately. And we haven't spent a lot of time together, so maybe we'll do some romance and maybe uh, whisper seductively to Megan and maybe uh, blow her a kiss and maybe express fondness. You know, get a little flirty with Megan in the morning. <laughs> Uh, and what else can we do? Compliment her appearance? We'll do all that. That will get our fun. Our fun is way down because we've just been working so hard. But I want to make sure we can eat really quick. So I'm going to just exit all of this chatting just so we can just focus on stuffing our faces. And it looks like we're almost done here. And then we can maybe go woohoo and that should get our fun up. <laughs> My guy is so desperate for attention right now. He's like, oh, dude, please, someone talk to me. Uh, okay, so let's go woohoo. That should get our fun up. And then we can spend some time with Luna. Maybe go to the dog park. Uh, let's go woohoo Okay, so here we go And that should get the fun up. Where's Luna at right now actually? Oh, are you outside? Are you under a bush? <laughs> she's under a bush. She was in the bush. Oh, she's dirty. Oh, uh, we need to give Luna a bath after this We need to give Luna a bath after this woohoo session Luna has fleas. Does she? Okay, she does look like she's got something Okay, so let's go here and give Luna a bath because she needs it Okay, so there we go. Fun's up. Luna, it's time to give you a bath. You definitely got something wrong with you. She's got fleas. I could treat her myself. We have 24 hours. Oh, I'm sick too. Uh-oh. This isn't good. We have some type of ailment too. This is not good. Okay, so Luna is bathed. I don't know. Does she still have fleas? Yes, she does. Oh, man. Take to the vet clinic. Here we go. We got to take Luna to the vet. Even though we are a vet, we don't have our own treatment station at home. So we're going to have to take her to a vet clinic. We could take her to mine. Could we take her to mine? No, I don't think we can. <laughs> Let's take her to the vet clinic, the big one, our competition. Man, I don't want to take her to our competition, but we will. So let's take her there and see how all of this works. See how we do for the day and see if we can uh, get Luna to feel a little bit better. So we're going to check into this vet clinic. It looks like a couple of the people are showing up for work. So we got to come over here and sign in Luna for spay. Now let's sign her in for a sickness. She's got a sickness. We got to see what's wrong with her. Luna is hungry. Okay, we'll feed her. Don't worry. Wait for vet. Get pet examined or receive treatment. Okay, so that's our goals right now. Uh, purchase fish. I'm not purchasing fish for them. <laughs> I'm not purchasing fish for this vet clinic. This is a pretty nice vet clinic, though. 
Like, look at this. Purchase pet items. So I can go here. I can age down treatment. Ooh, there's a huge markup on this. Uh, treatment for resurrects your pets. Oh, my God. So maybe we can sell that kind of stuff, too. I'm feeling a little sick, too. We're waiting for treatment. We're not having the best of time. It looks like they only have one vet on duty. Wait, can I treat her myself? No. <laughs> can I treat her myself? Just come into their vet clinic and, and treat her. I'm not having the best vet experience right now. Oh, man. Okay, we're going. We're out of here. We're out of here. Don't worry, Luna. We're going to travel to my vet clinic. I'll treat you there. Okay, travel with household Luna. Okay, we're going to go, Luna. We're going to get you out of here. Luna will see you there. Okay, we're getting out of here, Luna. We're going to our vet clinic. I'll treat you myself. Dad's got you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see if we can treat Luna and make her feel all better ourselves. We're a vet, right? We're an experienced vet. Uh, okay, so... Here you go, Luna. We'll treat you here. Let's begin to examine Luna. Now, we're feeling a bit dazed. But this will save us money. We won't have to spend money on examining her because we're a vet ourselves. Okay, so, yeah, clearly she has something wrong with her fur. So, let's examine her and skin and fur inspection. So she's got three things wrong with her. It looks like she's drooling a lot uncontrollably. She's got a little stink to her. So, we're going to see what we can do with examining her fur. That didn't do... Oh, she's got mouth moths and uncontrollable drooling. Let's maybe listen to her heart. So we're just trying to make sure everything's good here. And she's got stinky fur. Okay, mild repugnostis. Okay, so let's go here. And I think that's treatable with Parasite Killer Spray. 38 bucks. That's all it's going to cost us. And Luna is good. We cured her sickness. She's feeling fine now. Let's mop up this mess. So Luna's happy. Let's maybe uh, talk to her. We gotta spend some time with her. Let's brush her. And then let's maybe train her. Let's train her to continue heal training. So we've taught her how to sit. We're still trying to train her how to heal so she knows all of that stuff. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, guys. I really appreciate all of you guys. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, yes, let's continue to heal train her after we brush her. And then I could work on some stuff. Uh, let's see. So th these are all the disgusting machines. Let's craft. Let's craft some um, exam table. Now let's craft some surgery station. No, let's craft some treats. So is there the resurrection one? Poop randomizer, age up ta uh, treat, 25 bucks. Cooler than nitrogen. Okay, so let's do an age down treat. Let's craft some treats. I don't know how long these treats take to craft. But we're working with um, Luna right now on heal, but now we're going to just craft these treats. I don't know how long they take, but I think we can resell them in our refrigerator I <laughs> for 200% markup, which would be some decent money. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's in there. Open. Uh, treat that causes your pet to age down. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's go to craft. Um, wellness treat. Let's do all that. We're going to craft a few treats today and see if we can sell them next time we open up for business. Uh, I want to see if we can open too, like, um, when we're gone. So let's drop in some drops. Luna is hungry. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll feed you, Luna. Don't worry. Uh, uh, no, is it not done? Uh, 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 open? No? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong with this treat. Uh, put away. Uh, did that just put it away randomly? Okay, well, let's go home. Actually, no, let's stay here. I'm going to open the business. Okay, so all of our employees are coming. I'm going to assign Mansfield to also not just do cleaning. He'll do cleaning and treatment. That's what I want to do as soon as he gets here. Then I want to go home and see what happens. So responsibilities. Uh, let's have him treat pets too. And then let's have us go home. We're going to head home with Luna. And we're going to let our employees handle all this. Oh, I thought that was like our treat that we made. Okay, so we're going to let our employees handle the vet clinic. We'll close it up after today. I want to see how it does when we're not there. See if we can... If our employees are competent enough to run it without us, so that's kind of the goal. We'll see how it does, and we'll see what kind of money we can make. God, guys, we're only 12 likes away from 1,000. Thank you so much for the mind-blowing support. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. So we're open right now. We'll, we'll check back in on the business in a little bit, but uh, I'm going to quickly just take a brisk shower, kind of wake myself up, and then I want to serve some dinner for me and Megan. Let's maybe do a uh, fish taco night. Fish taco night. That sounds kind of fun oh no we got a broken sink let's fix that Megan you're gonna come out here 
and you are going to resume this large classic painting. I want you to do a couple paintings today, maybe three if you count this one too, because I really want to work on her skill. I want to get it up. Luna, let's whistle you over here. So Luna's here. She's vomiting. She's feeling gross. What's this? Wait for pet? No, we don't need to wait for the pet. That's fine. I'm getting calls. Oh my god. Is the business doing fine? I'm worried about the business now. Yeah, we have zero dollars in funds, which is great. Uh, let's use the toilet really quick. Oh, and oh crap. Luna's hungry. Uh, let's fill bowl and call Luna. Okay, just quickly eat your food, dude. Okay, stop eating your food. Okay, let's fill bowl and call Luna. Okay, so there we go. She's filled. Let's use this. Fitness skill is acquired. That's good. Oh, she pa did she pass out? Did she pass out? Oh, no. Did she pass out? Did our little Luna pass out because I didn't feed her in time? No! Okay, Megan, come over here and grab a serving. Okay, so our pet clinic's been open for a while. Did we make any money today? <gasps> oh, what the heck? 179 customers served? We made $26,000? How do we make so much money on a day on there? We make nothing. Replace. We can replace the toilet all day. We just made 26. Well, we owe the bank 50 grand. So that's a good thing. But oh my God, $27,000 profitable day. It hurt our business though. Check back later. Uh, Okay, well, holy crap. Guys, that was amazing. That was a great day. Let's fill this pet bowl again just so I don't forget. I want to make sure Luna's got the food. Let's play fetch with Luna. My God, we just made so much money. Let's train to fetch with Luna. Uh, cringe bottle flip at a thousand likes. <laughs> I don't have my face cam. <laughs> Otherwise, I could cringe all day with you guys. That could be an ultimate cringe uh, moment. Uh, okay, we made so much money on our business, guys. I just don't even know. We can go and get the good vet clinic eventually. We can buy our competition. <laughs> okay, so let's watch a movie with... Uh, let's watch uh, Moonlight Massacre. Let's watch A Lost Dog's Journey with me. Okay, so there we go. So Megan and I are going to watch a movie. I'm going to go watch A Lost Dog's Journey. And Luna is... What's wrong with Luna? Why isn't she feeling well? It looks like she's peeing and pooping outside. Okay, so she's feeling better now. That's great. I'm kind of drained on energy. But me and Megan are... Megan! Megan just sponsored the channel! Aw, oh, thanks, Bay. Oh, I love you. I miss you so much. God, you have no idea. Ugh. <laughs> but guess what, Bay? Guess what? Look at my business right here. I just made $27,000 in one day. I wasn't at my business. I opened it and then left, and then I closed it later in the day. I made $27,000. We had 179 customers in one day. That's got to be something broken, right? Like, I just printed, like, a $25,000 profit in a day. Like, that's so, that's crazy. But, Megan, I love you. I miss you. I hope you're having fun at the office. I hope you're getting work done. I miss you. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> thanks for the sponsor, Bay. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh, what time is it? 11 o'clock at night? Uh, we're going to finish this movie with Megan. We're going to chill on the couch, whisper some sweet nothings, maybe uh, let's give her a little massage and tickle mercilessly. Mercilessly. <laughs> then glitch, glitch, glitch. <laughs> you think it's a glitch, Bay? I'm going to try it again tomorrow. We'll see. I owe the bank 50 grand, so that's good because then I can pay them back their 50 grand and I can feel good about myself. <laughs> and then we'll be all profitable. <laughs> Um, what happened to the Legacy Series? This is the new Legacy Series, guys. Me and Megan doing the, the Sims Cats and Dogs. And we're going to have kids. We're going to have multiple generations of pets. We're going to breed pets. We're gonna. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so much fun. Um, where's Megan? She's at the office right now working, I think. I, I don't think she's back. I haven't, I've been streaming, so I don't know. Let's look deeply into each other's eyes. And then let's maybe, uh, we're going to woohoo. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so let's go to the bedroom. Then that will make us pass out. What's Luna doing right now? Okay, she looks fine. She looks fine. She looks like she's just sleeping, just enjoying the day. She's got a full bowl of food. Okay, good, good, good. We should buy her some more toys. I feel like we don't have enough toys for Luna, and that makes me feel really bad. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Looks like we're going to woohoo. And I'm already drained out, but this will make us both pass out for the day. Um, hi, Megan Bandwagon. Yes, join the Megan Bandwagon, guys. Join the bandwagon that is Megan. She's amazing. <laughs> Um, someone said Luna was pregnant. I don't think so. I mean, I don't see anything that says she would be. Uh, pet care. Um, no, I don't. I don't know how she would be. <laughs> I didn't neuter her, but I don't think she had any pet time outside with other dogs. Um, people are saying Luna is pregnant. No, what? I just treated her. I don't think she is. I don't see anything that says she is. Like. 
Can I hover over? Does it say it? I don't know why you guys think that. Uh, I guess let's just have her. I I, I don't see anything that says she's pregnant. <gasps> Is the hearts mean she's pregnant? How did she get pregnant? Does that mean she's pregnant? Does that mean she's pregnant? Does how do I tell if she's pregnant? She is. How? How do you know? How do you know? Is that the hearts? Is that does the heart mean she's pregnant? How does she get pregnant? How does she get pregnant out of nowhere? She's Is it because I took her to my vet clinic and let her roam around outside and then she got pregnant? Oh my god. Luna's not preggers? Oh, uh, I need proof. How do you guys know she's pregnant? Is it the hearts that are floating above her, above her head or what? Cuz now I'm like concerned <laughs> uh she's already neutered no she's not because i had the option to neuter her i don't i think you guys are trolling me <laughs> I, I think you guys are trolling me the game would tell me I, yeah i didn't get anything saying luna is hungry I, I don't see anything saying she's pregnant no i don't see anything saying she's pregnant so <coughs> i'm gonna assume you guys are trolling me um you guys are trolling me, right? I hope so. I'm just going to assume you guys are. I didn't spay her, but that doesn't mean she's pregnant. I just didn't want to spay her yet. So let's go to sleep. Because I, I don't know if I want her to have babies one day. So I didn't want to spay her. The hearts mean she is in heat. Oh, she's in heat. Okay, good, good. So she's not pregnant. What's this? What is that? Uh, okay, so we're going to have her search the premises. For a what's that? What am I doing? Are we having her search around? Okay, so she's in heat. I don't want any dogs to come and get her. <laughs> don't come and get her, dogs! Oh, she's barking. Megan, this is a lecture moment. Let's uh, lecture her about barking. Then have her go to sleep. Okay, so there we go. No barking. Luna has learned not to bark at Sims. Yay! We did it, guys! We're training our dog to do good things. We're being a good dog, dad and mom. The hearts mean love. The, well, is she, is she is loved or she's she's looking for love? Oh my god. <laughs> but baby Lunas would be so cute. I know, but we're not ready for baby Lunas, guys. We owe the bank $50,000. We're in debt. Oh my god, it's in the morning. It feels so dark. Uh, okay, Megan's awake, so she's the first one up in the morning. Let's have her use the toilet. And she's got really bad hygiene right now. Let's have her take a bubble bath. Uh, I'm going to wake up and let's maybe... Uh, I have a little bit more sleeping to do. So let's have us use the toilet and then maybe uh, serve some breakfast like a uh, fruit salad. Let's serve some healthy breakfast and then use the toilet. Okay. And then we got to take a nice shower too. I, I want to open my business again. So let's do that. We're going to try that again. Open. Boom. Uh, vet clinic is open for business. So let's see what happens to our vet clinic today. We opened it at 9 in the morning. We're going to see what happens. I don't see an option saying she's in heat to breed Luna. Like have another dog breed her or something. I don't see an option for that. So it's just... Let's get to know her a little bit, and then let's continue to train uh, healing, okay? Because we, we have her completely trained for sit. I want her trained for heal. Then I want her trained for fetch, too. Those are my main three that I want to do. Uh-oh, the land grab power company. Shut our power off, guys. We forgot to pay our bills. Uh, let's pay our bills. 428 bucks. Uh, as soon as we shower, I guess. <laughs> God dang it. We got to pay your bills. Guys, remember to pay your bills. Otherwise, they're going to shut down your power, and then everything's dark. During the day, we have windows, or do we? Do we really have, no, we have windows. It's really dark in our house, and it's kind of depressing. Could we not shower because we don't have, um, uh, we're not going to train to heal because we just need to pay these bills. Okay, boom, the bills are paid, the lights are back on. Let's use this, and let's take a brisk shower. Oh, wait, we don't need to shower. We're good. Let's just use the toilet, and then, should we eat the rest of this fruit? Let's eat the rest of this fruit salad. Toss some of this fruit salad in the fridge. Okay, let's toss this ball in here as well. Want to make sure the house stays nice and tip-top clean. There we go. Books tossed away. Let's eat the rest of this fruit salad. And now our business has been open for two and a half hours. I'm really curious to see. We're going to let it be open until 5 p.m. That's almost like an eight-hour shift or 5.30. And we're going to see what we make. We're going to see what kind of money we make at the vet clinic and how many customers we take in. Now, to keep you guys refreshed on what's going on, I can't show you guys. We are spending the most on advertising, and we have the highest quality uh, product. So we do owe the bank 50 grand, so we need another 22 grand to get out of debt. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Because then once we do, I'm going to have to give away $50,000 because that's what we borrowed to start our vet clinic. I want to be debt free because I don't like cheating. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we're going to finish up eating, and then I, I'm so curious. I'm so curious to see what's going to happen with the day. Megan, you should paint some paintings right now. 
because you don't get a big chance to practice your painting skills. So let's have you come in here. Uh, let's have you do a flirty painting. I know that's an aspiration of yours to do a few. Oh, they're, they're, she's no longer flirty. To do a few emotional paintings. So we got to make sure we can get those in. Okay, so now we're watching some TV. We should clean up this. Now it looks like Luna ate all of her food, so let's go fill this bowl. And then let's work with Luna. I want to train her a little bit, so let's go here to train and continue heal training. And then we're going to do fetching after that, because I want to perfect the ones we've started. Because we're really close to perfecting uh, heal. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive we are. I don't know if this is a gauge on how close we are or if that's our training, our pet training skill. So we'll, we'll just have to see... When it's accomplished, I'm going to put it in super fast mode. Let Megan do some paintings. We're going to keep training Luna. So let's have Megan come over here. She's selling for $300 a piece right now, which is good. Let's have her do a confident painting. Uh, and what are my goals for my aspiration? Uh, be friends with five animals. Uh, successfully train out two misbehaviors. So we have to do that. That's something we have to work on. She's not pregnant. She's in heat. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that I'm glad to know that because that's what I figured. I'm like, how did she get pregnant? I, I didn't see anything happen. Uh, and I'm around Luna all the time, so... Uh, wait. Oh, I thought we just had something happen. Okay, Megan, what are you painting? You're painting a inspirational painting or a confident painting? Let's sell this. We're just trying to work on Megan's painting skill. Let's do a big classic one. Uh, classic painting, large classic. <laughs> no, Luna's not pregnant. Luna is fine. Okay, so the business has almost been open eight hours. Luna learned to heal. That's awesome. Okay, good. So she now learned to heal. Oh, God, she's peeing. She is peeing. Let's feel the love. Does that give us 200 aspiration points? I think it does. Uh, and then let's let her lick our face. And then let's clean up all the mess around the lot. So there we go. So what can we get with our aspiration points? I have not spent any of our aspiration points. We have 1,400. That's a lot. Um, marketable. Marketable Sims can sell. No, no, no. Free services. A single use service requests are free. Speed reader. Uh, read books faster than your average Sims. Night Owls build extra skills at night. Morning Sims build extra skills in the morning. Mentor, no. Instaline, uh, diet beverage. Insta large. Speed cleaner. Observant. Uh, moodlet solver. Okay, gym rat. Uh, always welcome. I'm trying to figure out what's good or if we should save up for anything else. Entrepreneurial. Uh, Sims are more likely to get promoted in their career. Incredibly friendly. Uh, what's, what's the best thing we can get? Uh, super green thumb. That's not important to me. Savant gains. Ooh, what do they do? Gain all skills much faster. This is what we're going to save up for. Savant. That's what I really want. Fertile, not so much. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want to be super fertile. Okay, so we're almost about ready to close up the business right now. I'm so curious to see how much money it makes. Let's scratch her favorite spot right now. We're working with Luna. Trying to make her happy. What else can we train her? There's so many things. Play dead, lie down, roll over, shake, speak. Uh, let's continue to practice fetch. So let's go here, open this. I know we have like two balls in here. Uh, let's just put one out here. And then one can stay in. Okay, so let's go here and let's go to train and let's continue to practice fetch. Uh, requires a ball in your inventory. Oh, okay. Let's toss that in our inventory. So this is going to be one we always carry on us for all those fetch moments. We got to take her to a dog park still. We should definitely try to do that next episode on Tuesday. Take her to a dog park. Okay, let's toss the ball a bit. Practice fetch with Luna. Megan's finishing all of her paintings. Uh, she's almost at skill level 7, which is great. She's feeling confident again. We should definitely do another confident painting because that's one of her goals. Uh, let's toss that in the sink and toss that one in the sink. Uh, okay, there we go. And there we go. And let's sell this fish that we caught for 5 bucks. Okay, so, okay, it's 5.50. The business has been open over eight hours. Let's close it down. Okay, so that was definitely just some type of weird glitch, glitch but we still made good money. $3,200, 25 customers, but we're down to two-star rating. So our rating's dropping because I'm not there. Uh, why can't I see where our check back later? I guess I have to check back later. I guess I could go here. Okay, so it's saying check back later. 25 customers were served today, so it was just a crazy glitch to have that many customers served last time. But we're almost out of the debt bubble we were in because we borrowed, uh, no, we borrowed uh, $40,000. So we're really close to being out of the debt bubble. We only have $9,000 owed. But guys, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. If you guys enjoyed it, do not forget to smash that like button. We're giving away two copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. All you have to do to enter to win the first copy is like this video, leave a comment down below, tell me your favorite funny cat moment that you either experienced or saw on YouTube, 
And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel because I upload Sims four times a week. We do four live streams a week, so you're definitely not going to want to miss out. Plus, we're giving away a lot more copies of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Now, we're giving away another copy on my private Discord, so if you guys want to join that, or public Discord, I should say, the link to join my Discord is down below. I'm going to do a live Q&A over on there right now, right when I end this stream. So go to my Discord link in the description box and join it because we're giving away a copy over there during the live Q&A. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, remember to take it easy. Lemon squeezy.